Hello, my Virgo friends. How are you doing? How are you doing? Long time no see. <laughs> I decided um, after a couple emails of people wondering where the hell <laughs> their horoscope, taroscope readings were, um, I decided to start this back up again now that I have some extra time. So, of course, as some of you know, we do your horoscope and then we do your taroscope. So, Virgo, for the month of June, the 1st through the 15th, right now, this month, well, June, there is no planets in directly affecting you. So relax and enjoy the start of spring or summer. Do some contemplated meditations and peaceful activities. One does, um, one does not always have to be busy, basically. Um, you are slightly prone to agitation with Jupiter and Pluto square Virgo, but that's not a problem if you're mindful of your motivation. Jupiter can make you feel enthusiastic and Pluto can make you wise, or well, Pluto can make you wish to be sincere. Square aspects are not always negative, okay? Virgos do things in an orderly manner. This month, just be mindful and avoid impulsiveness. Always balance enthusiasm with wisdom, okay? So always balance those two together. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your tarot scope, which, you know, at first we do, okay, the Austro Austral astrology, oh my God, I can't talk today, astrology cards to see what this month's Basically, your energies are. Sorry. Apparently, I haven't had enough coffee yet. So you got Eclipse in Aries, collaboration. Boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. Nice. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. We'll go ahead and set that right there. Oh, excuse the camera moving. So you guys can see that. Now let's go ahead and get into your tarot scopes. Now how we usually do this is we'll do general and then we'll do um, home, home life, social life, love life, and then work, financiality, career. So let's go ahead and get started for my Virgos, first through the 15th. And this is your general. Six of Cups. Memories. Memories maybe of a past relationship, love, or otherwise. Um, yeah, memories. You got the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Temperance, and the Moon. So what that tells me is something new has come to light about a past. Either it doesn't have to be love, but a friendship. Um, two of Cups normally does. So some of you may have the aspect of, of thinking back on uh, a lost love, maybe, or one that just didn't work out. But something comes to light with this moon card. Okay, that's hidden aspects that come to light. And it looks like some of you are going to take that course of balance, balancing this relationship out. Like maybe apologizing, something comes... The feeling is that something comes into light that you didn't know about before and that you apologize to this person thinking, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. You know, I didn't know this part of the situation. But now that you do, you want to balance that out with that temperance card. Let's go ahead and get some. Wrong cards. Never mind. <laughs> when they're purple, they're purple, right? Okay, yeah. Oh, all right. 
So we got heartache and loss, suffering and silence. So whoever this is for, you are definitely thinking about um, just, it almost feels like a recent breakup because you're still hurt, you know, have that heartache and loss and you're suffering in silence. So whoever this is for, you're thinking about this whole aspect of this relationship. And like I said, something new comes out in light. Now, it could be their feelings for you is still there. That's giving you hope. Um, whatever it is, though, that balance, going for that balance is giving you passion ignited. Okay, so this might be a start of, a, of this relationship coming back into play. But I really feel like something, I, I definitely feel like something comes into light and you, or you look at the situation differently, like, than what you did before, if that makes sense. Um, like, I can feel the love, especially with you suffering in silence. Like, you don't want to tell anybody that you still have feelings for this person, but you do, obviously. And you have hope for reconciliation. And I feel with this, whatever this is that's coming into light that was hidden and hidden aspect of it all is definitely um, going to help that. Let's see what comes up in your love life. Um, if anything comes up in your love life with the next reading of the home life, social life, and love life for my Virgos first through the 15th. The magician you're manifesting. The emperor you're taking control. Oh, wow. All right. Well, you, <laughs> you are definitely in pursuit here. Um, the magician is all about manifesting what you want in life. And the emperor is, ta is telling you, you take control. You're in control of your life. There are new, some new beginnings going on with this fool here coming out. And the Knight of Cups is in pursuit of basically or chasing your emotions. So it looks like you're almost like you're calming your emotions down and you're taking control. If that makes sense. Like your emotions have been out of whack and you're finally like coming out of it to where you're in control if you master your emotions okay let's switch this knight to a king if you master your emotions you'll be in full control of what goes on in your life and you have the power to manifest with the magician there you have the power to manifest what you want in your life so if this is about this relationship that's coming back into play you have the power for that person to come back but first you have to chase those emotions and get them straight um like i said i do see new beginnings whether it's with this person or not i'm not sure but we'll see when i deal out the coupling cards but either way new beginnings are always beautiful awareness yes you're becoming aware that your emotions been off the charts lately whoever this is for the throat chakra that's where the emperor comes in the throat chakra is all about speaking your truth so maybe that apology you know i i get this apology that that like you didn't see something in their perspective or something and that really means a lot to them when you go say hey i was wrong i'm sorry um New beginnings here. What's this all about? Recognition and reward. Nice. So that's basically the new beginnings is basically the universe saying, look at all the work you've done, girl or guy. Here you go. Here you go. What about this Knight of Cups? Patience and planning. Yes, I really feel somebody has been working on their emotions and you are now ready to move forward. You've recognized that your emotions have been out of whack and you're dealing with it. You're 
you know, saying, okay, I need to calm down about this situation. Just let the universe have it. Um, if it comes back, it comes back, you know. And that's where this whole boosting relationships comes into play, definitely. And collaboration. Teamwork. You know, it seems like he or she is right there with you. The, the feelings are still there. You just had to be mindful of your feelings and what was going on. All right, so your work life, career-wise, show me the money. Let's go ahead and get that. Wheel of Fortune, nice. Princess of Pentacles, Strengths, and the Death card. All right, so another new beginnings. Make way for the old, for new to come in. This Wheel of Fortune is all about, you know, you're on the right track when it comes to career um, or your work life. Excuse me. The Princess of Pentacles is all about that seeker of abundance. So you're learn you're going through like, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? It seems like you're, you might be switching jobs. I mean, we don't know what all this whole crap going on, right, with the pandemic. But um, your strength comes out. I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck. It's so plain, but yet so powerful. You know what I mean? Um, and that death card, that's coming through and sweeping, you know. The death card to me is like um, the negative uh, garbage man. He comes through and sweeps all the negativity out of your life. And once, I think, it, it, what I'm seeing here is basically once you figure out what you want to do, okay, he's going to come in, sweep all the negativity away from you, and you're going to go forward in what career or job choice you want, work choice. The waiting game. It looks like you're going to have a little bit of a wait with the Wheel of Fortune, and with everything going on, that's understandable. Um... The waiting game has been coming out a lot when it comes to work and career. You know, just with everything going on, we're seeing where we're at. Love begins, Princess of Pentacles. So in that situation of you pursuing abundance, maybe you're putting in job applications, you're going to find your passion. You're going to find where you want to work. Um, and that, that passion is going to come out and you're going to absolutely love it. Why is the strength card here, please? sacrifice okay so there's going to be maybe you're leaving one job that you love for another job or a step up um and you're making you're sacrificing that and it's going to take some strengths and the death card emotional loss okay so or maybe you got let go of a job that you really loved um and that's where that death card is going to come in. He's going to come in and sweep that negativity. And it's going to open these doors to find your actual passion. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a soul traveler. See what's on the horizon for you guys. My lovely Virgos. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. So the guides want you to know that you have support all around you. Don't ever think you don't. If you need to shout it out or vent or whatnot, just sit down and vent. You know what I mean? I hope this finds you well. I hope you all are well and doing okay. Um, I hope this horoscope slash telescope helped you out. This has been the 1st through the 15th of June, 2020. And I, got, I will see you guys next time. Have a great week, couple weeks, guys. And um, take care and be safe.